Hello, this is Ryan with Deepwood Handcraft, bringing you this video today from a beautiful summer day here in Alaska. Um, gonna make this video real quick, short and sweet, to show you this project that I have been working on and is finally completed. Um, so let's get right into it. Okay, so this is a Buckeye bag to start with. He wanted the uh, classic strapping and he went with the extra D-ring option at the bottom. Wanted the uh, handle sewn to the top with the fatter straps that reduce down like the original ones were. Um, this bag is quite a bit custom. First of all, he wanted a water bottle soft pocket on the side. Um, in this one I have a Dijau, but this is made specifically for a clean canteen. So while this is similar in dimensions, it is not quite the same, and while it would work for this, um, the clean canteen is a little bit bigger and is going to be quite a bit tighter in this to start with because it's brand new. Um, so the more you take it in and take it out, it'll kind of break it in to be exactly what it needs to be. Otherwise, it's going to be tight to start with. But all the strapping and everything is made for the fatter bottle. But this one doesn't look bad. It's a little loose in there, but you could probably find a bottle that works if you get sick of the clean canteen. I didn't have one, so I just went with the dimensions off the website. So this water bottle holder, I kind of got a wild hair while I was designing all of this and decided to make this its own thing. So this might be easier without the canteen, I'm not sure. So this whole thing is completely removable. And so for future stuff, anything could be added to the side of this with the same kind of concept of uh, this thing is set up so that it can be, give me that bottle again, please. This can be carried on its own. either the belt loop on the back. You can see that creates a bit of a belt loop there with the strap is what would go in the middle between there. So this strap goes down through the first one, through the middle one, through the other one, through the one on the bottom, through the one on the front, and buckles in the front. And there's a mosquito trying to get killed. Nope, it was a no seam. Anyway, so this can be carried on its own belt loop on the belt, or the shoulder strapping can come off. The D rings can either sit upwards, and you can carry that on a shoulder strap, or while it's on the bag, they can hang, and you can hang an extra little, you know, cook kit or whatever you want to fire kit or something on the D rings. So that is that. Now the other custom thing on the inside of this bag and the reason that I'm wearing this wheel gun on my side right now is because this thing is currently full of leather dust because it's made out of leather. Take a quick look at the inside of this bag. So this bag has a pocket divider in it. Spot for pins, spot for Altoids 10, maybe a phone, whatever you want to put there. A D-ring for hanging your keys on or whatever else. 
And then on the inside of this is a fully customizable panel for guns. Let me show you how this is going to go together. So I've got several of these, just little straplets, and uh, I'm going to send several of these Chicago screws, and we'll see uh, how this goes together. Okay, so the whole gist of this is this is your belt. These are your belt loops. Depending on what style of gun you have and what style of holster, there are different levels for this to go in. You can also put it in diagonally. You can put it in high, you can put it in low. This is best done at your house rather than on the fly. And this is all still new, so it's all kind of a little bit stiff. Okay. So this is, I tried to keep this as simple as I possibly could. And I'm pretty sure I've accomplished such a thing. If it turns out that you don't like this system of belt here and you have a better idea do not hesitate to contact me with that and we can work that out from there the panel itself is pretty much what it's going to be though because taking that out though if you're not happy with it and you want to send it back i'll fix it however you want but that'll take some doing but it is doable so now i these Chicago screws are a little bit longer than they need to be just to make it real easy to put them in and take them out and now that's in there. Now I've got multiple holes in these bellets so that you can tighten that up as much as you want once you get this kind of thing in there. And you can see there's still plenty of room to put another gun or more shell holders or Whatever other kind of accessories, you could even put a knife on there. Anything you put on a belt that'll fit in this bag, you can get it on this uh, back panel. And that still leaves plenty of room for the inside of the bag. Once you're all closed up, you can't tell that there's any kind of uh, firearm inside the bag. You can put it a little lower. This is a six inch barrel so this is quite a large gun to be putting in a bag like this but you can see that even with a gun like this it can be done uh, you could even get a larger gun in if you put it in diagonally though I don't think that you're gonna run into much use for needing giant guns down where you are this is just what I had on me at the time so you could get a couple of smaller concealable guns in there a couple of full-size 1911s show holders whatever you want to throw in there that's just what it is okay so putting this back on just to show it keep in mind that everything on this bag is very tight right now because it's brand spanking new um, a lot of this stuff is going to break in and loosen up a bit as you use it and get a good uh, wear on it. Like I said, that clean canteen is going to be tight getting it in and out of here for the first couple of times. Oh, the no -seams are the bane of my existence right now. But that's Alaska and I'm willing to put up with it, so. You can see that was pretty easy. That was not difficult. It's not hard to get on, not hard to get off. It's actually kind of easier with the bottle in the thing. Fully modular, that way you can leave your bag somewhere. If you're going somewhere, you could hook up a kit to the D-rings, put it on your belt, or uh, throw a shoulder strap on it. Um, 
And I totally missed the bottom loop, but that's alright because that's easy to get. And so this isn't going anywhere. It's not going to flop around. Especially if you got the bag loaded, it's nice and kind of tight where it needs to be. The more evenly you distribute the weight in here, the better off your bag's going to ride, but that's just kind of every bag, I think. And I'm sorry about this rushed video, but I got to make it to the post office before they close, and it's a half hour four wheeler ride on a muddy trail right now, so. That's just what it is. Your extra Chicago screws are going to be in here. Um, this should be a thing where you don't need any kind of tools to put them on and off. So. Nice wide shoulder strap, very cushy. Shoulder pad with a uh, bit of sheep's fleece in there. that's that so hope you're happy with this one man if not don't hesitate to contact me and we can work that out however you want so all right that's it for me I better get this thing to the post office so stay tuned have a good day